Hi! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel! Today I'm talking about my new job. Guess where I'm working? Guess where I'm working? Take a wild guess. That's right, Starbucks. <laughs> if you did not know, I just moved to California. Also, I apologize, I have a lisp right now. I just put in my new Invisalign trays, so I'm still getting used to them. So, <laughs> just ignore that. So I actually applied to Starbucks online while I was still in Colorado. And I had applied at Starbucks before at different locations back home. And I never got an interview. Um, Heart been broke so many times. And then my first job was at an Indian restaurant for a few months. And then I worked at Chick-fil-A for nine months. And now I work at Starbucks in California. So I just applied online. And then I got a call about a week later asking to schedule an interview. And I had to tell my manager, like, hey, I'm actually moving to Anna. Um, to California in a few weeks so I'm not available for an in-person interview until this date and she was like oh that's totally fine we're actually gonna do our interview on zoom anyway and so I was like okay cool and so I had an interview just a few days later and so here's what to expect from a Starbucks interview if you're applying or you're curious they ask a lot of questions about your experiences and like how you would deal with different situations they definitely ask you questions like okay what would you do if a customer was unhappy how would you handle the situation how in the past have you helped a group achieve their goal what would you do to make a customer have a good experience? Just things like that. Since I have work experience um, and a lot of customer service experience, all the questions were really easy because I could think of examples that I've actually had happen at work for all of them. But I can imagine that the interview questions would be a little bit more challenging if you don't have any work experience yet. And so, if you have no job experience, um, you kind of have to think in hypotheticals, what you would do, or in other situations like at school or volunteer work, stuff like that. But all in all, it was a pretty easy interview. My manager was interviewing me and she was so nice and very conversational. And then I had a second interview the next day with one of her colleagues because I don't know if other Starbucks do this but they she liked to get a second opinion and the second interview was basically the same questions so I used like the same answers because they were literally the same questions of like what would you do in this situation how would you handle this um, tell me about an experience where you've had to work hard you know whatever things like that something that's interesting about Starbucks is the dress code because you don't really have a uniform except for your green apron which is what the dress code focuses on the purpose of the dress code is to make the green apron stand out because the dress code has a color palette, basically neutral clothing, like blacks, grays, white, cream, navy, just muted, neutral, darker colors so that the green apron stands out. And it's pretty basic with like, your shoulders need to be covered, no low necklines, not like short shorts or anything, and you can wear jeans, pants, and they can be patterned, but neutral colors. Um, the two things that Starbucks is specific about is no nail polish, no nail anything, which is actually really sad <laughs> because I had money saved up to get my nails done again. I wanted to start getting acrylics more regularly because I just love having my nails done, 
but then I asked about it in the interview and she was like, no, no nail, anything, so bare as can be, and that's just a food safety thing, so. Also, the shoes. So, non-slip shoes are recommended but not required, which I think is interesting. I actually think they should be recommended because the floor is wet like all the time and it is very easy to slip. These are my work shoes. <laughs> They're just non-slip shoes from Skechers, but at Starbucks they don't want you to wear any shoes that are canvas material, so like Converse, Vans, anything that liquid could go through if it fell on your foot. And that's just a safety thing, like if hot coffee spills, it won't go through your shoe and burn you. So you need to have like, I don't even know what this is, like faux leather, just, you know, like waterproof material um, on your shoes. And it also depends on your manager. Like some managers are more strict about the dress code than others. So I would say a good thing to do is to get there in dress code and kind of just see what your coworkers are wearing and kind of see like what's chill what's not but like today i'm like very in uniform and this is kind of what i normally wear to work i'm just wearing this gray like t-shirt that has like this lace and then just black pants here are some other things that i wear to work i have these other black jeans that are more like baggy that I really like um I just like this striped blouse I'll wear like my white button up this other striped pretty shirt but I'll wear like a black tank top underneath and then just like um I'll wear my black t-shirt and like that's pretty much it so the uniform is pretty simple and yeah and you're definitely going to get like stuff on your pants and everything just because it gets messy. So, <laughs> so my orientation and training. The first day at Starbucks and really like the first full week at Starbucks, um, I went in and you go through a lot of slides and like learning about the company which is really cool because they cover all the benefits that you get as a starbucks employee or as a partner and you're called a partner at starbucks because you actually get shares of the company so you get stock in the company just by working there it's free every year you get a little bit um so that's why the employees are called partners because you're literally a partner in the business which is pretty cool and you can also buy more stock at a discounted rate if you want more and it just adds up every year that you're with the company if you're working at least 20 hours um, you get a 401k health insurance um, they pay for your school at Arizona State online which is really cool and you get free Spotify, which I didn't know, so I have my free Spotify plan now with Starbucks, so I'm saving $10 a month, which is awesome. And during your shift, you get one free food item and pretty much all the drinks that you want. 30 minutes before, all during your shift, and 30 minutes after your shift. And then while you're not working, you get 30% off at any Starbucks and you also get a free coffee item every week. So that means like a bag of coffee or like a bag of tea. And then we did a coffee tasting to just learn about the coffee. It was actually very like fancy. We talked about like the notes and where it hits on the tongue and stuff. And then I did another coffee tasting the second day of the espresso and another coffee. So it was fun and then you do a lot of modules on the computer and then you do like in-person stuff learning where everything is um, you start learning how to make drinks which is super super overwhelming <laughs> at first and it's honestly still overwhelming um, register and warming up food and cleaning and stuff is kind of overwhelming but you definitely learn it a lot faster um, especially if you have previous work experience so that part 
can be pretty easy. But the drinks is really hard just because there's so many drinks and you need to memorize how many pumps of syrup, how many shots of espresso, how many scoops of this, how many scoops of that. Like, it's a lot. But my trainer was very, very nice and they will show you how to make the drinks and you'll practice making drinks. And then um, my trainer quizzed me a lot, like verbally, like, hey, tell me how to make a venti iced caramel macchiato. Tell me how to make a grande hot americano things like that and you're also going to learn the differences between all these coffee drinks which is really cool because i had no idea there were so many ways to make coffee and so many ways to brew coffee they say that it takes a good barista four to six months to learn everything so it's really nice they definitely are expecting you to make a lot of mistakes and ask a lot of questions just because it is hard to learn everything and they know that which is really nice everyone is very helpful and very understanding that it takes a while to pick things up so i really like that um you don't feel a lot a ton of pressure to be perfect right away so that is really nice so as for drinks that I would recommend, I have discovered a new favorite drink when I was, cause your first few days you taste a lot of drinks cause you're gonna make a lot of the kind of classic drinks on the menu and taste them. Um, and I wasn't expecting to like this drink cause I had heard like so-so things about it. It's the iced um, brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. And that for a grande is three shots of espresso, there's cinnamon, oat milk, and the brown sugar syrup. And it's really good. I actually really like it because it's not too sweet. So I like it on its own. But now I like to ask for a little bit of vanilla sweet cream on top. Not the foam, just the cream. And that is really good. It makes it a little sweeter and a little creamier. I just ask for like a little splash and it's really good. So that's my new favorite drink. I also really like the iced matcha latte, which is something I've been getting from Starbucks for a really long time because I used to not really drink coffee. I like the iced matcha latte and I just tried it with the brown sugar syrup, like four pumps of the brown sugar syrup in a grande. And it was really good. It gives you kind of the aftertaste of boba. So it gives you like boba vibes and it's really good makes it a little bit sweeter and then I really like the London fog so that is an Earl Grey tea latte it's Earl Grey tea steamed milk with vanilla syrup and I love Earl Grey tea my dad used to make it for me when I was little so it's just like such a cozy drink I definitely recommend it if you want something hot on a cold day but you don't really want coffee or you don't like coffee I definitely recommend that yeah those are my recommendations and that's kind of what to expect if you want to work at Starbucks and so far it's going well I really like it so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully someday soon I'll do a vlog of a work day that would be really fun and yeah just let me know what you want to see Bye! Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's alright.